Hello guys, hope everybody is well. Uh, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Mkuduli Pepe. Um, a gospel artist, gospel artist based in Africa. Born in Zimbabwe, based in South Africa, the whole yada yada. We praise God. Guys, I am, can I vent? Can I vent? So, I book a flight to Kenya. I'm at the airport, by the way. Uh, welcome to my travel vlog. Um, I hope I'm going to get to travel because I've been denied boarding. Because they're telling me that I need a COVID-19 PCR test. When I check on the website, um, on the Kenyan website, it says for fully vaccinated passengers, there's no need to produce a negative PCR test. So I did not do a a COVID-19 PCR test because it's not it's not required and then when I get to the check-in counter I'm told that this lady had better not disturb me or at least she's not she's not talking very loud okay because I'm venting I'm venting can I be allowed to vent so oh I'm at OR Tambo International Airport in Johannesburg for those of you who are wondering so I get to the check-in counter well before time like my flight departs at 10 minutes after 3 a.m and I'm, i was at the airport by quarter to midnight quarter to 12. so i get there and the security people tell me that sorry sir can we have your uh, pcr test <laughs> mind you there's a lot of places that do covid 19 tests here at the airport but unfortunately, they are all closed at this ungodly hour. At this hour, they are closed. Everybody has gone home. And they want a COVID-19 PCR test for me. So I went to check by the, by the airline counter to check if I can rebook my flight. LAUGHTER and the fees thereof uh, are, are really ridiculous. Actually, they offered to get me on an alternative flight, which leaves later in the afternoon. But the, the, the layover in, 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 in Kigali is very long. Somebody saw an opening, you know, somebody thought, oh, okay, a lot of people get left behind at the airport due to not having a negative PCR test especially for this midnight, the twilight, the twilight zone flight. So the person just decided to make a business. But I feel like it's not even a business because on a normal day, if you want to get a, a COVID-19 test, I've used the, the disc cam counter. I've, I've used the tent, the disc, the, disc, oh, the disc cam tent over there. I'm actually watching it. I don't think you'll be able to see it. It's way over there, there, there. there. This is the discam tent. So that's the one I have used in the past. Uh, and it cost about, I think the last time, the last time it cost me less than a thousand rand. And guess what? This person, this, this person, I, I have no words for this person. Of course, he's helping people and he's sacrificing sleep, but to charge 2,500 rand for a COVID-19 test, Ha! For a fully vaccinated person, all because Rwanda decided to be very smart. They decided to be the smartest country in the world and choose to demand a negative PCR test for passengers in transit going to countries where a negative PCR test is not required for fully vaccinated people. Guys, I'm fuming. I'm fuming. See my face. See. It's my angry face, guys. <laughs> I hope the audio is okay. Because I'm using earphones. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. I am so livid, guys. Like, I, I, I do not know. I don't even know where to start. Who charges 2,500 rand for a COVID-19 test? It's like... It, it's satanism. It's satanism. I would say daylight robbery, but it's not daylight. It's literally uh, 0043. It's around 
17 minutes to 1 a.m. on Friday the 13th. Oh, yeah, probably that's why this guy is playing a number on us. So it's not daylight robbery, it's twilight robbery because it's happening nicodemously in the dead of the in the dead of the night. But Aluta continua, nothing will stop me from boarding. I'm just waiting for for, for the company to get here. Um, do the test and hopefully tell me that I'm I'm negative for COVID nineteen because oh the people of Kenya will not be very pleased if I do not show up. Hello once again guys, Mkuruli Pepe here. So I finally managed to check in, parted ways with my heart and money, <laughs> but I'm glad I'm negative. Such efficiency, such efficiency. I'm really grateful. So I'm really glad that um, I'll be ministering to the people of Nairobi, Kenya, by the grace of God, checked in. As you can see, I've checked in. The emergency exits are identified by exit signs. They are located forward, mid, and aft of the cabin. guys well i'm here in the beautiful paradise of kenya i arrived well by the grace of god and oh i'm so excited i'm really excited oh, beautiful 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 as you can see guys i have made it to nairobi kenya and i'm fired up for tomorrow i'm going to rest a little bit i still feel a bit woozy um this twilight twilight zone flights are a problem because I, I can't really sleep in an in an airplane um actually i can't sleep in any moving thing i need to be stable i need to be on a bed somewhere like on stable ground <laughs> but I, i'm really excited as you can see i'm already sweating when i left johannesburg oh what's this now when i left johannesburg i was wearing this <laughs> now it seems there won't be any need for any for any jacket so I'm, I'm really excited so yeah tomorrow we are in Nairobi Parklands Baptist Church and then um, on Sunday we are in Nyali Baptist Church in Mombasa we're gonna have a great time I mean honestly I am so excited guys Kenya is a beautiful place I am in love with Kenya even when I get to the immigration guys you know, the way they just smile at you and welcome you and embrace you. You feel wanted. You feel wanted. And everybody loves to feel wanted.
Yay, guys, I made it to the hotel. It's such a beautiful place. Oh, my goodness. Where do I even begin with the tour? I've messed it up, ne? Oh, no, no, no. Let's do a proper room tour. Proper room tour. Proper. So, as you walk in, you're greeted by this long passageway. And then, of course, there's the mirror. I love the mirror, guys. Welcome to my vlog. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's the door right there. And then we'll start with the toilet area. The seat! Oh, the seat! The seat! It looks very comfy. Glory to God. Thank you for tissue paper. You see, these guys are very clever. They even put two rolls of tissue paper to make sure that you never go without. And then there's the basin area. Uh, yeah. Then they put tissues. Oh, wow. This is nice. A hair dryer, which I won't use. And then there's a... It's like a, a window. A window with, with some holes in here. So woe unto you if you are a couple and you are here. Oh, Lord. And the other is busy in the in the bathroom but anyway i'm not there i i love the the rain shower head beautiful 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 nice clean towels impressive i've been there and then well of course there's a glass door there's a glass door to seal everything in there yep and then there's a space here i'm sure the space Apologies, it's a bit dark, guys. I'm sure the space is for putting the the bag. Or oh, as the Kenyan said, the bag. Oh, those are the wardrobes. It's not very clear, it's quite dark. Oh, and of course there's a phone which I always disconnect before I, I sleep. Because for some reason some people just decide to call you early at 6 a.m. and say Mr. Van Riebeck, um, this is your early morning wake-up call. And I'm like, I never ordered an early morning wake-up call. Now on to the bed. Beautiful, decent bed. Quite soft. Quite soft, but I'll enjoy it. And then, of course, there's a, a flat-screen TV, which I'm sure I will not be switching on. I never switch on TVs because I always download my series and stuff like that oh yeah then there's a nice sitting it looks like a it looks like a, a sofa of some sort and then of course there's the chair the workstation where i'll be editing this vlog so this vlog that you're watching i edited it here and then of course my beautiful zimbabwean passport um right and then what's this now one. Surprise? What is this? What is this? Oh, <laughs> it's it's actually takeaway cups. Wow, those guys are so thoughtful. And then you've got nice um, plastic spoons and the electric kettle, bottled water. I love the fact that it's not in the fridge. Yeah. And then there's a safe, and then there's a mini bar, which I never get to use, by the way, because I take all my drinks at room temperature. And then, of course, this is the window side. But I'm sure I got an interior thingy. Well, it is an exterior thingy, but you get what I mean. So there you have it, room tour. So the itinerary is very simple. I've been told I'll be picked up in about 45 minutes to go for lunch. Um, and then from there, I go to Hope FM um, for a short interview. I'm being told that the same person who owns Hope FM is the one who's hosting me for lunch. Do forgive me if I'm wrong. And then from there, I come back. Oh, we go to the venue. We check out the venue. 
Then from taking out the venue, we well they bring me back to rest. Now, can you just briefly tell me the the cost? Uh, the cost and everything. Tell me. Hey, um. Live recordings are very difficult. Uh-huh. It's not easy. No. Yeah, we were actually discussing with the other ministers uh, in the in the other room as we were having lunch. No. It's tough. Mm-hmm. It's it's really really tough. You, <laughs> and that's why it it really breaks my heart when a lot of people accuse gospel music ministers of loving money too much, uh-huh. money that we don't even get from the projects that we produce. No. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you put in a lot of money. For my live recording, I'll be very transparent. Mm-hmm. My live recording in Johannesburg, South Africa, yeah. I didn't even have, I couldn't afford those LED screens, but I still paid an excess of 60,000 US dollars wow. just for that recording. Wow. So for the skilled labor, the musicians, the singers, you pay the mo- you pay them money for for the actual recording and then you have to pay them again for post production in the studio so it's like paying them twice for the same gig you know what i mean yeah. it's really really difficult yeah. it's really difficult we do it because we love what we do amen, amen. hey everybody mkululi baby once again we just finished doing an interview with these amazing people behind me ah yeah guys God is a good God. 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 So I'll catch you tomorrow. I guess I'll just have to end this vlog here for today so that I edit it and get it to you guys. Yeah. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow on day two. Yeah, you take care. And for those of you who still have not yet subscribed, in the words of a very wise gospel artist, what are you still waiting for? I'll catch you guys tomorrow. By the grace of God, take care of yourselves. Yeah.